I love how Vegas' Chinatown is it's constructed all differently. I mean, even the Starbucks construction is different. It's just so cool driving down Spring Mountain Road. I love it. There's so many restaurants, so many options, and just realized I haven't had Viet food in a while. I don't think I've ever had Viet food in Las Vegas, and that needs to be remedied like right away. Ooh. You know what I do whenever I come to a parking lot in Las Vegas now? Is I try to look for any semblance of shade. Wait, parking 4651. Can I not park here? What's 4651? Uh, I'll take a number six, the beef rib. Okay, number six. Yeah. Anything else, sir? Uh, maybe a bami to go. What do you think? Grilled pork? Is that good? Uh, beef. I think beef better. Beef is better? Okay. Thank you. In a hot tea if you have it? Okay, thank you. Oh, I missed this. I could easily see myself living in Vietnam for a long, long time. Wow, this is really good. Mmm. Oh, sweet nectar of pho, I missed you. And check this out. <laughs> Haven't had the beef short rib in pho in so long. I've seen more and more Vietnamese places start to put the beef rib into pho. That's just lovely. Whenever I see this in pho, I just get excited. Mm. Look at how tender that is. You want to be sinking your teeth into this. Also, a little explanation about what's going to happen in the next few days here for me in Las Vegas. First of all, it's so hot here. There's a crazy heat wave going on. It's the hottest it's been in a long, long time. So I wanna stay inside as much as possible. Also, what I realized is, I used to do these videos where I feature hotel rooms. I talk about the hotel, what's in there, what you can do, whether the rooms are worth it or not. Haven't really done those types of videos in a long, long time. And I realized, I never do in-room dining reviews because I, I don't do room service. I usually just go out, I wanna go out, I want to eat at local restaurants. I've maybe had room service three times in my entire life out of necessity. But Las Vegas room service, first of all, is 24 hours a day usually, and it's supposed to be legendary. So next few days, I'm just gonna start staying in some, some hotel rooms, some really nice ones. I'm gonna show you guys what's like in the hotel rooms, in the hotels, the dining options. And we're gonna start right after I finish this bowl of pho. Right now it's about 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go try to uh, do an early check-in. And we're starting with the Venetian. I'm just gonna stay there and eat room service food for the next 24 hours. I'm kind of excited. I am like just, first of all, not to be in the city anymore. I'm super excited about that. This is the stuff, in sweet dining. This will be my favorite book for the next 24 hours. So this is what a suite looks like inside the Palazzo. And this is the most basic suite. I booked the most basic suite, but I think it's supposed to have a nice view. How do I? Abracadabra. This is by far the best view I've ever had in Las Vegas hotel. It's right above the, uh, the swimming pool and Treasure Island and the Mirage and a bunch of mountains in the background. So there's a, Really nice dining area. So that's why I'm gonna eat everything right there at my dining table. Bed, closet. Whoa, this is a big bathroom. Ooh, free stuff. Free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. I love these Q-tips. Shower count. Wow. You got a TV inside your bathroom. Because, you know, the two minutes brushing your teeth is just not entertaining enough. Is this a ring? No, it's a soap. Never mind. White tea and rolls. Yeah, I'm keeping this. A bathtub. Shower. Eh, a little grimy. Oh, this is the pooper. Ah, phone inside the pooper. In case you've fallen and can't get up. This is a beautiful hotel suite. Also, it's Saturday today, so this was not cheap. I think this suite is around $400. Typically, when I come to Las Vegas, sorry, hang on one second. Gotta sanitize everything.
I'm just cleaning this menu right now. I'm telling you, there's some good looking things in here. Let's start the eating right away. Welcome to the first episode of Eating in Las Vegas Hotel Rooms, while also showing you the hotel rooms and the hotels and all its benefits and whether it's worth it and whether the food is delicious, we're not serious. Little wordy? I'll work on it. So. Guest guide, as soon as I walked in the door, most room services, at least the one, uh, ones that I've been a part of, it's usually like what, like 60, 10 or 60, 11, they, they stop at a certain time. Not in Las Vegas, 24 seven, you get all the food. Well, maybe not all the food you want. Oh, so this is the June and July edition. So I guess they change the menu pretty often too. As soon as I open the menu, look at this looks so good. Breakfast, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. So breakfast is basically all day. I'm just gonna order stuff. Obviously I, I can't order all of this, but I'm just gonna order stuff that catches my eye and uh, we'll see if it's good. Whoa, stuffed French toast. I've never had a stuffed French toast. Okay, this is not cheap. This stuff is not. $40 for a Japanese breakfast, seared wild isles, organic salmon with steamed rice, miso soup. I mean, it sounds delicious. Healthy breakfast, no, don't really need to look at that. Okay, lunch, there's lasagna bites, buffalo wings, queso fundido, some salads, some soups, New England clam chowder, okay. Signature pizzas, white pizza, the Venetian, build your own. Okay, there's pizzas, there's lobster roll, there's sandwiches. Signature burger, that sounds good. Dinner, there's filet mignon, chicken pot pie, the ribeye, pasta, some rice bowls, braised beef lasagna. There's kosher dishes, there's family style. Late night, okay, so this is from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. So some eggs benedict, some yogurt, American breakfast, there's some appetizers, soups, sandwiches, all day. There's juice, $8 for a glass of juice. Luckily, I went to the store and got my own. Psh, trying to charge me water. I'm not gambling. All my money's going towards food and hotels. Let's go ahead and just get that stuffed French toast and a Japanese breakfast. Good morning. Thank you for calling on Sweet Dining. This is Jamie. How may I assist you? Hi. Could I order the stuffed French toast and the Japanese breakfast? Certainly. And is there anything else I can assist you with, Mr. Chen? No, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and place order. It is going to be right now about an hour wait. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. Oh, they're so nice. All right, see you in an hour. Hello, Mr. Chen. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That's a way less than an hour, first of all. Wow, this smells good. So this is the salmon. Not gonna lie, it looks a little dry from the outside. Looks like some tamago, um, pickle veggies, and rice. And it comes with miso soup. Ooh, that's a full bowl of miso soup. The stuffed French toast though looks amazing. Looks like I'm about to eat like a field of flowers and it's just thick. This thing is about what, three inches tall? And he did set up two placemats for me. There you go. A little stuffed dinosaur my girlfriend gave me. Nobody wants to eat alone, especially not with this view. This is definitely the most luxurious in-room dining I've ever experienced. I mean, they brought in a tablecloth. Usually they just leave the food at the door for me. On to the main course, seared salmon. Ooh, okay, all right, very nice actually. So my prediction was this could be a little dry. And I could be a little wrong because that is perfect. Actually tastes like what my mom would make at home. The skin is so crunchy and nice on the outside. And this thing's been sitting here for about 15 minutes while I was taking photos and everything. But you guys can see how juicy and delicate this filet is. Wow. Mm. You hear that little subtle crunch, right? Rice is a little dry, but this fish, no joke. This tastes exactly like how my mom makes her salmon. I'm telling you guys, if I close my eyes, I'm home. Wow, pickled vegetables, good. Mmm. Super vinegary. Oh, that would go great with the salmon. I feel like the rice 
It's a little bit of an afterthought. To me, I could have done without the rice. Mmm. There's dipping sauce. And a squeeze of citrus will make this even better. It's just soy sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit on my rice, to be honest. This was a staple diet back in college for me. Rice, a little soy sauce, a little cut up bits of hot dogs. Mmm. Whoa, this tamago is so smooth and creamy. I mean, this little needs a little bit of soy sauce. Wow. This thing's like a borderline pudding. I mean, we can definitely debate on whether this is worth it or not, but ain't no debating how good this is. Rice aside, this is a restaurant quality meal. Now, before the French toast dies, let's go take a look at that. Okay, outside, nice and toasty and crunchy. Wow, this is just pretty solid piece of French, French toast. Let's see what's in here. So this is what a stuffed French toast is. It's like a French toast avalanche. So inside is stuffed with some kind of cream and a bunch of fruits. This is so amazingly good. Oh, and I forgot. I didn't even put syrup on this. Hmm. Oh, it's so good. Maybe it's because I never had stuffed French toast before. I don't know. This tastes so magical to me. I mean, outside is toasty, inside so fluffy and warm. And every bite, you get a multitude of little fruity explosions. The mint is fantastic. The flowers are nice. And especially this middle part with that cream. Ah. Oh. This is just perfect. This is what I would want in a sweet breakfast. Something as satisfying as this. Also, it's got fruit in here, so it's good for you. Hmm. Is all hotel room dining as good as this? All right, well, our brunch meal was a total success. This is just fantastic. I'm gonna save this for after I finish my savory food. Now I'm gonna make some green tea, eat this, and just stare out the window for a while. <sighs> Even the tea's pretty good. Hmm. So I've never really experienced the luxurious side of Vegas before. Usually when I come here, I think when I first started coming here, I would stay at the Rio. I remember back then rooms were like, you could get a room for like $20. Well, that's before a resort fee and all that stuff, 20 bucks. I came to listen to a timeshare presentation once because they offered me two free nights stay at the Hilton Grand Vacation on the Strip. Two free nights, I had to sit through a three hour, four hour presentation, uh, try to pressure me into buying a timeshare. I did not work. I could not, like if I wanted to. And then after that, I got spam calls for the rest of my life. So don't do that. Yeah, not worth it. This is definitely the nicest hotel room I've ever stayed in Las Vegas. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here, sip my tea and just enjoy this. I'll see you at dinner. Before dinner, gotta get a workout in. And of course, need some entertainment while working out. So watch a little Loki and uh, 5K run. Okay, I was about to take a shower and then, remember I told you guys I'm really absent-minded like a lot of the time. You know that makeup travel bag I have that everyone mistakes it as, as, as some girl's purse? I left it at the last hotel, so hopefully they have it because it's got all my toiletry stuff in there. So I gotta go out to the last hotel and see if they, uh, they have it. Right as I was about to eat dinner. All right, let's go. Just spent about two hours, yep, two hours searching for that toiletry bag and it's gone so i have no anything i'll look like a mess tomorrow luckily i'm asian so my facial hair doesn't grow as fast but now i'm really hungry let's eat dinner oh i've been eyeing this lasagna look at this there's chicken pot pie fish fillet i don't need that anymore this lasagna looks good let's get this and let's try their signature burger good evening this is denise lancery dining how may i assist you could i get a uh, signature burger and a braised beef lasagna hey mr chen are we serving two guests uh, just me. One guest, perfect. One braised beef lasagna, and then the signature burger. How would you like it cooked? Uh, medium, please. Ah, let's do the carrot cake. What do you think is the best dessert? The carrot cake and the cheesecake are my favorites. Okay, let's do the carrot cake. That's it. Thank you so much. Food just got here. The problem was, and I don't know how this works. I'm not familiar with uh, room service. My table still has like the place and everything from this morning. I gotta bust my own table first.
Ooh, look at this carrot cake. Oh, this is giant. I'm gonna put this away for now. And then my two entrees. This one, oh my gosh. I did not realize that lasagna was this humongous. So you can see the short rib on top of the lasagna that seemed to be a little dried out. Maybe it's the Las Vegas special, extra dry. That looks great. Okay, so the burger looks like there's mushrooms on top, maybe some uh, caramelized onions covered in cheese, looking good. The signature burger, perfect medium. Bun is nice and toasty. It's actually a really big patty. Oh, this is why it's the Juicy Burger. I took a bite and a bunch of short ribs came out of it. Mmm. Wow, the short ribs are actually really tender and nice. This is a delicious burger. I don't have a tremendously big sample size of, of room service stuff, but Plaza slash Venetian in-room dining is restaurant quality delicious. I mean, this is a really, really good burger. Let's check out this lasagna. Yeah, okay. So the short rib, rib on top is a little dried out with some herbs. Look at this thing, they're so giant. This is definitely the most expensive lasagna I've ever ordered in my life. This seemed to be like the special of the dining menu, the star, the highlight. Oh, now it gets meatier. It tastes much more of the braised beef. That's a really good lasagna. I haven't had a bad dish from this place so far. And I was 100% expecting at least something to taste not that great. I mean, obviously it's pricey. In-room dining is always pricey. Plus this is Vegas, but I really didn't expect everything to taste so good. I mean, this lasagna, besides this not great presentation on top, let me see if the meat is actually dry. Yeah, I had some dry meat on top. That's a sprinkle of Vegas on top of this lasagna. But the inside, oh my goodness, layer of cheese covering just a mound of meat and I think potatoes, and then another layer of cheese and then more meat on the bottom and then more cheese, all in this mild tomato sauce. My only complaint is I wish they would've given me some bread to dip the sauce with. That's my only complaint because I really like the sauce. Oh, this is so good. This tastes like something that came out of a fancy restaurant. Hmm. If you're in Vegas, you don't want to go out, or you still want to eat well, and you're okay with the price, this is a really good option. I mean, you are definitely getting delicious food. I was really ready to knock this place because I'm like, eh, in-room dining, how good could it be? Far exceeded my expectations. Oh, I'm excited about this. I was thinking it's like a slice of cake, but this is, this is like a whole carrot cake. I feel like I should be putting a candle on this and wishing somebody a happy birthday. I think this is the fanciest carrot cake I've ever seen. This is a carrot cheesecake and it will change your life and make it better. Oh, this is so good. Wow. Mmm. First of all, the cheese part is so light. Sprinkle with coconuts. Wow. With a little bit of, I think, passion fruit jam for a little tart. This was a bad move on my part. I'm not gonna be able to stop eating this. Unbelievably good. This is definitely gonna offset all that workout I did. I'm trying to find my toothbrush purse. Wow, this is the best thing I had tonight. I mean, I really like that burger. I love that lasagna. I'm infatuated with this. Make myself a little tea. Sip on that. <sighs> a little cheesecake. A little low-key on Disney. Fantastic view still. I really never thought I could enjoy Vegas like this. Sitting here in the comforts of my own room, eating top-notch food, looking out at that. I like this a lot. I mean, we are in Vegas, so I'm gonna need a little intimate time with this right here. So, see you in a bit. Good morning. Never get tired of looking at this. Did you actually know that Las Vegas is actually surrounded by mountains? So no matter what direction you look at, you're always getting a mountain view. Anyway, last meal here in the suite. Let's see what's available. I can honestly tell you guys, I, I feel like I've had everything I really, really, really want from this menu. So maybe something live for breakfast. Hi, could I please have the sandwich? Is there a good pasta? We have a good spaghetti with meatballs. All right, let's do spaghetti and meatballs. Thank you.
Whoa! That is so pretty. Garlic bread, wish I had this last night with the lasagna. Ooh. All right, these are some giant meatballs. Melty cheese on top. So these are beef and pork meatballs. They look so good. That is delicious. I don't eat spaghetti and meatballs a lot. I'm not an expert on this. One of the best I've ever had. It's so good. I promise I'm not working for the Venetian or being paid by the Venetian. These are just amazing. The meatball, first of all, great shoe. You taste that fantastic pork and beef flavor. The sauce is super mild, not overly acidic at all. I mean, pasta could be a little more al dente, but that meatball, wow. One bite, this thing just breaks down and dissolves on your tongue, melting your mouth, meatballs. I don't think I've ever had that. I mean, Chef Boyardee meatballs also melt, but for different reasons. And again, the sauce is so mild and gentle. Usually, I don't like it when the sauce is overly tangy. This is fantastic. This might be one of the best things I had at the Venetian. Yeah, come here, order the spaghetti and meatballs. All right, this, this is just too beautiful for words. Don't have a clean fork. I'm just gonna use my spoon here. Look how fluffy the pancake is. And there's like, I think vanilla custard in there. What is this? It looks like a chicharron almost, but it's like an air fried orange. Mmm. A little crispy orange is so good. It's like a little orange cracker. The pancake is good, super bouncy. It almost tastes like there's some, there's some mochi in here. That's how bouncy it is. Definitely needs more syrup. Mm. Add the syrup. Those things just become a thousand times better. I was gonna say, this is the only dish I was sorta of disappointed in because it's kinda of dry and doughy. Add the syrup. The syrup will seep into all the nice airy crevices of this pancake and it's dry no longer. Mm. I think I still prefer the stuffed waffles, but if you prefer pancakes, can't go wrong with this. So in the last 24 hours, I tried, I think like over six dishes, six, seven dishes. Every one of them was good. Like I said in the beginning, I've done room service maybe a few times. And every single time the food is, is adequate. You know, you usually just get a burger or something that can't really mess up. And it's adequate, it's good, it's fine. This is exceptional. I was actually gonna leave Vegas. I was like, huh, I think I pretty much filmed everything around Vegas because I really don't film too much stuff that's actually on the strip because usually there are higher end restaurants or buffets that I can't get into. So I was gonna leave today, but you know what? I'm actually gonna stick around. I'm gonna go to some more hotels and, and, and <laughs> Like maybe other hotels, I can actually show you um, the amenities you get when you're staying in a, in a nice room and go try out some more of their in-room dining. This has been such a great experience. All right, let me finish up. See you in a bit. As this wraps up a fun stay here in the Venetian slash Palazzo. Um, of course, wasn't so enjoyable trying to find my toothbrush yesterday for two hours. Other than that, so pleasant, mainly due to how good the food was. Hats off to this resort for how good the in-room dining is. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. And the recipient of my HelloFresh this month is Future Me. I'm having this box arrive the day after I get back to New York. I'm probably gonna get back at like two in the morning, then wake up, food waiting for me outside. And that's one of the many things I love about HelloFresh. You can easily customize your orders. You can add meals, add protein. You can pause the service, change delivery dates. I really hate going to the grocery store. I've always wasted so much time there, gotten stuff I really don't need, like two blocks of cheese. Why did I think I could eat two blocks of cheese in a week? Anyway, with HelloFresh, it comes to your door. You can prep a meal in about 30 minutes, about 20 with their quick and easy recipes, and this is what I always stress, is delicious, never had a bad meal. And that's because HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit. Also, HelloFresh has pre-portioned ingredients, that means there's less prep time for you and definitely less food waste. Also, what I like about them, they are committed to giving back. Last year, they gave over four million meals to charity, and this year, they're stepping it up even more. So if you wanna give this a try, go to HelloFresh.com. Use my promo code CHEN14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. All right, on to my next hotel adventure.